Hi, I'm Marvin Plackett and today is Monday, January 11th. Greetings to all residents, to all staff, and to all guests. I hope that you had a good weekend. Um, if you were watching the news like I was a fair amount, uh, I know it was a sobering weekend. Uh, but uh, here we are, it's Monday, it's a beautiful sunny day out there. Uh, let's make it a good day and a better week. Um, we currently have six active COVID cases at this time. One is a resident and five are staff members. The one resident came to us from the hospital uh, post hospitalization. You will recall that that's a change that as of two weeks ago, we made here at Episcopal Church Home where we are accepting some residents that did not originate at Episcopal Homes uh, to come from the hospital to Episcopal Church Home to our dedicated COVID unit. We've gained the skills, we have the practices to uh, avoid any spread from the residents that are in our dedicated COVID unit. And besides that, the hospitals, they need the support, they need the help, they need some place to send uh, people that have COVID but no longer need hospitalization. So it's the right thing to do. So in any case, the one resident that we have at Episcopal Homes uh, they are in our dedicated COVID unit and they came to us from the hospital. This would have been last week. And the staff, the five staff, uh, of course, that's substantially reduced from uh, last week even. We had approximately double that many staff, uh, but the staff have all been resolved and uh, back to healthy uh, and are once again uh, work, working at Episcopal Home. So the, the, ex, not those five. Those five are at home recovering. Um, you will recall two weeks ago, the vaccine came to the gardens. The residents and staff had the opportunity to be vaccinated. And then last week, the vaccine came to Episcopal Church Home where the residents and staff had the opportunity to be vaccinated. And the follow-up vaccines, the second dose for the gardens will be on January 27th. The second dose for Episcopal Church Home will be on February 4th. So we are certainly delighted we're thrilled that the vaccine is starting to be disseminated here at Episcopal Homes. Uh, our other community, Iris Park Commons should be next. They have not yet been scheduled. We sure hope that that occurs soon. The state of Minnesota, their intention is that by the end of January, that all long-term care facilities, and that includes assisted living facilities, will have already received their first dose of the vaccine. So our fingers are crossed. We're sure hoping that is the case. Um, so hopefully uh, Iris Park Commons is going to get scheduled soon. Um, and for the rest of our communities here at Episcopal Homes, our independent living communities, we're working on getting those scheduled. Um, we don't know how soon that will occur. And I want to remind everybody that it's not up to us. It's not up to us here at Episcopal Homes. It's not up to me when our various communities get scheduled. It's entirely up to Minnesota Department of Health and they are coordinating with the pharmacy chains of Walgreens and CVS. So between the health department and those two pharmacy chains, they are the ones that are getting things scheduled. So the fact that the gardens got it first and Episcopal Church Home got it second, we had no say in that whatsoever. So just letting you know, this is out of our hands and there's no vaccines that are stored here at Episcopal Homes. We're not permitted to have that. Uh, let's see. You've heard of B117, okay? You maybe don't remember that uh, letter and, and numbers, but B, 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 <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. B117 is the newest variant of the vaccine, uh, excuse me, of the virus of this uh, uh, virus. And so um, that is the one that has entered America just a few weeks ago. And it was announced just a couple of days ago um, that uh, I think five or six cases have been identified in Minnesota now uh, being this variant, B117 variant. Uh, and this variant of the virus is more contagious. It's not more deadly, but it is more contagious. And uh, so obviously we need to be even more diligent with our face mask wearing, with our physical distancing, with if we have any symptoms, self-isolate, get tested, and wash your hands frequently. So we must be vigilant because 
this I this I've read different stories that the virus is anywhere from uh, 30 to 70 percent more contagious so not sure um, and in terms of the current vaccine there's no indication the experts believe that the current vaccine is just as effective against this variant as the other variants prior to uh, B117 so it's just as effective uh, fighting the uh, COVID-19 um, so that's the good news but it is more contagious so we must be vigilant with the little things that we know to do that make a huge difference. Uh, Governor Walls, you know that last Wednesday he announced relaxing some of the uh, rules around restaurants, bars, movie theaters, bowling alleys, and a few other things. Okay, and that is effective today, Monday. And so you will notice, be watching for some updates from us here at Episcopal Homes because we then, of course, are going to also relax, or we are relaxing already starting today, some areas. Uh, we're going to live by the rules. We're going to keep to the um, you know, proper um, numbers uh, in terms of percentage use of areas, uh, the distancing that tables must be placed away, etc. cetera. So uh, you can read the executive order. It's on the website. Um, in any case, we're for sure going to, at a minimum, stick to those rules. Our guidelines might be a little tighter, we'll see, depending on the space and the activity, etc. Bottom line, be watching for updates from us with some uh, changes to some of our programming and dining options and the opening up of Waters Pub. So I know you'll be watching for those updates from the leaders of your community or from, uh, or from me as uh, those changes unfold. Okay, I think that we're getting close here to the end. It's time for me to read this week's birthdays. Okay, we have for birthdays this week, Hoa Wynn, King's Crossing, Christy Plant, King's Crossing, Jeanette Willie, e Episcopal Church Home, Deanna Mead, Seabury, and Dusty Mars, The Terrace. Happy birthday to all of you. Uh, let me make sure that I have covered everything because I had quite a long list. Um, so let's see. Yep, I think I have covered everything. Very good. Well, listen, I wish you a very good week. I will be back, of course, on Thursday. So until then, take care. Take care of your neighbors, your loved ones. Reach out. Help somebody. Um, spread the love. All right? I look forward to seeing you on Thursday. Bye-bye.